find out the current through 6 ohm resistor using superposition theorem from figure shown we have to find current through this 6 ohm resistor using superposition theorem solution first we will consider this 5 volt voltage source and turn off this 7 volt voltage source then we will consider this 7 volt voltage source and turn off this 5 volt voltage source so first consider 5 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so if we turn off this 7 volt voltage source then this will be short circuit and we have to find current through current through 6 ohm resistor so here here the terminal is positive and here the terminal is negative the current flows from positive terminal of battery to negative terminal of battery so the direction of this current will be like this and let's assume this is current I prime now we will find this I prime by using current division rule so by using current division rule so this will be I prime is equal to now we need to find this current also let's assume this current is I so I into opposite branch resistance or parallel branch resistance the parallel resistor to the 6 ohm is 2 ohm so 2 divided by 2 plus 6 this 2 plus 6 now we have to find this current I here we can see the 6 ohm is in parallel with 2 ohm so 6 ohm parallel with 2 ohm this will be 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2 so it is 1.5 ohm 1.5 ohm now we will replace this two resistors by 1.5 ohm resistor So this will be 1.5 ohm now we can find current I using Ohm's law I is equal to V by R V is 5 volt divided by R now R is 2 plus 1.5 2 plus 1.5 so this will be 5 divided by 2 plus 1.5 it is 1.42 1.42 ampere now we have the value of current I we can find I prime so this will be 1.42 into 2 divided by 2 plus 6 so therefore I prime is equal to 1.42 into 2 divided by 2 plus 6 it is 0 0.355 0 0.355 ampere now here we can see the direction of this I prime is downward so therefore the direction will be downward like this now we will consider this 7 volt voltage source and turn off this 5 volt voltage source so consider 
सेवन वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस सो इफ वी टर्न ऑफ दिस फाइव वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स देन दिस विल बी शॉर्ट सर्किट नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल इज हेयर एंड निगेटिव टर्मिनल इज हेयर द करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू निगेटिव सो द करंट डायरेक्शन इन दिस सिक्स ओहम विल बी लाइक दिस नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम दिस इज करंट आई डबल प्राइम सो बाय यूजिंग बाय यूजिंग करंट डिविजन रोल आई डबल प्राइम इज इक्वल टू लेट्स अज्यूम दिस इज करंट आई टोटल करंट आई सो आई डबल प्राइम इज इक्वल टू टोटल करंट इन टू पैरल ब्रांच रेजिस्टन्स द पैरल रेजिस्टन्स टू दिस सिक्स ओ होम इज टू ओ होम सो टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस सिक्स हेयर वी कैन सी वी डोंट हैव दी वैल्यू फॉर दिस टोटल करंट सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड दिस टोटल करंट आई Now here we can see this two ohm is in parallel with six ohm. So two ohm parallel with six ohm. This will be two into six divided by two plus six. Two into six divided by two plus six. So it is again one point five ohm. Now we will re replace these two resistors with one point five ohm resistor. so this will be 1.5 ohm 1.5 ohm now from this we can find the value of i using ohms law i is equal to v by r v is 7 volt and r is 1.5 plus 2 1.5 plus 2 so this will be Seven divided by one point five plus two, so it is two ampere. Two ampere is the value of total current. So from this total current, we can find I double prime. So I double prime is equal to total current. Is two ampere multiplied by two divided by two plus six. So therefore, I double prime is equal to two into two divided by two plus six. It is zero point five ampere. Zero point five ampere. This is the value for I double prime. now we will see the direction of i double prime here we can see the direction of i double prime is upward so the arrow will be upward now we have to find current through 6 ohm resistor so current through 6 ohm resistor will be i 6 ohm now here we can see the direction of i double prime is upward and the direction of i prime is downward so we will subtract higher current minus lower current because the directions are opposite so we will subtract higher current higher current is 0.5 so 0.5 minus 0.355 Zero point three five five. Zero point five minus zero point three five five. This will be zero point one four five. Zero point one four five ampere. This is the value for 
I six ohm zero point one four five ampere, and the direction will be upward because the bigger current direction or larger current direction is upward. That's why the value, the direction for I six ohm will be upward. So this is our final answer.